Hey guys, so I feel like I haven't seen you all in forever, so hey. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so today I just wanted to bring you a small haul video, and it's some drugstore, some like Ulta, Holt look, that sort of thing. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Let me start with the drugstore stuff. Picked up um, a pair of, well, two pairs of lashes. These are the Kiss 03s. And they're really like natural looking and wispy and the other pair isn't in there so I'm wearing them right now. And they just look really natural and they're really comfortable to wear. Even though I should have trimmed off some, they're a little bit long for my eyeballs, but it's okay. And then the rest of my drugstore stuff is all from the flower line at Walmart. It's the makeup line by Drew Barrymore. <clears throat> and a while ago, I'd actually picked up two things and I got a lipstick and a lip gloss. And there are two different kinds of lipsticks. She has uh, one line that has the white and gold packaging, and then she has some other ones that are like black and gold, I think. So I picked up the white and gold ones, and uh, this one here is called Petal Kiss. And I love the packaging, it's super cute. I love like white and gold. And the color is like, um, just a really basic pink. It's really, really matte, and that's the first thing I notice. There is no sheen, there's no glitter or frost or anything like that. It's really, really matte, um, really creamy feeling. I have it on right now underneath a gloss because I'm not a fan of matte lips. But, um, you know, I probably won't try any more just because I really, I don't really like the matte kind of formula. But since I have this, I am going to use it because it's a beautiful color. And because I don't like the matte, um, I used the gloss I got over it today. And it's honestly like the same kind of color as the lipstick, but in a gloss form. And this doesn't, sh it doesn't shade. It, oh, 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 hang on, it's the vet. Okay, nothing's wrong. We're just starting Sammy on some new prescription dog food because he has so many like skin allergies. And he's just all the time like scratching, but what was I saying? Oh, the gloss. Um, it doesn't say the name on here, but I'll look it up and I'll put it somewhere on the screen for you. But it is basically just like the lipstick. It's just a basic pink. It's a little bit lighter. I lied. It's a lighter pink than the lipstick. It's that one there. And as you can see, it does have a lot of shine to it. And I have it on over the lipstick. And with the gloss over the lipstick, I actually really like the feeling. <clears throat> you know, it feels moisturized. Um, the smell is, I'm not gonna be around the bush. These things stink, they stink. I've heard a lot of people say that they smell like old lady perfume. And in a way I can see that, but I also smell like a very strong, like chemical type of scent. It's very unpleasant. But, um, you know, I still wear it. It's not overpowering once you put it on your lips. It's really not that bad. So, and it has a really nice texture to it. I actually really like it. Okay, and then the other day I went back and I got two more things from there. And I was really curious to try out the cream blushes. And look at how adorable she has packaged this stuff. And they had all kinds of really pretty colors. Ah, oh, fart. This one is called Pure Petunia, and it's a bright pink. Really like it. It's really bright pink. It's so pretty. I just, I love that kind of shade because it just like wakes up your skin. And then I was also really intrigued by the cream shadows. And I picked up, I tried to like hold myself back and I just picked up one, but they had so many like pretty neutral colors and some like really light shimmery ones. This one is called Flirty. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You all are gonna make fun of me if I say this wrong because it's gonna sound like I'm like straight from the dang mountains. Flirty, Florette. <laughs> Or is it Flore? I really it's don't It's a know. shimmery brown. It's really pretty. And it comes with like a little stopper. And you all, I was shocked when I pulled this thing out because it's seriously like pudding. Look how thick it is. 
So that's it without me shearing it out. Really pretty. And then once you blend it out, oh my goodness, it it's like the most beautiful like coppery brown color. It's so gorgeous. So I'm really excited to play with that. Last weekend I went to Ulta and I picked up a couple things from there. For one, and this is really exciting because they're so inexpensive, I've never ever ever tried Essence. And lately I've been hearing so much about Essence. Like so many of the people that I watch are putting up videos on Essence products. So I just tried a couple things and they are lip glosses. And I think these were like $2 and something each, which is crazy. And they are the XXXL Shine Lip Glosses. And I got this one in True Love. And it's like a really pretty pinky berry color. And you all, I was like, I'm dying to see if these are pigmented or not. Because you just never know. And they are. And they smell like Skittles. <laughs> So this one is true love. Look how beautiful. Mm. And they wear so well on the lips. They feel so good. And then I got a red one. And I got this one in Red Blossom. And I kind of regretted not getting some of the lighter ones just to see how pigmented they were. Because uh, I think that would have been like the true test, you know. But I just, for whatever reason, didn't pick any up. But look at that red. How gorgeous. Okay, and then while I was in Ulta... I just happened to see, I honestly wasn't looking for it, but I happened to see um, like a little kit from, I don't know if you say Coors or Coriz, you know what I'm talking about. And it looked to me like they were like deluxe sample sizes. And it was a skincare system for normal to dry skin, which is me. And it came with a few different things. And I just thought I would try it out. And I've been using it, and I'm going to do a review for you all. So I'm really excited about that. But um, I don't have the box with me. I threw it away. But it came with a white tea facial fluid gel cleanser. A wild rose face and eye serum brightening and line smoothing. And then it came with two... 24 hour moisturizing and brightening creams. So it's just like a moisturizer. And once I got in the car and drove away, I realized that something was missing from the box. Like, it was like a tiny little thing. Like, I could see where the space was where it was supposed to go. It was missing, and um, I honestly didn't care. I was like, I've already left, whatever. And um, I wondered why when I got up to the register to pay that it was cheaper than what the price tag on it said. So that was probably why I saw, and it was the only one they had. So I thought, well, maybe they're just trying to get rid of it. And, you know, one thing is missing, and it's kind of weird that I got two of the same thing. But I really don't care, whatever. So look out for a review on that very soon. And then Tarte.com was having a sale on their Amazonian clay blushes, and they were 50% off. So I got two blushes. I limited myself to two, so I'm like, I have so so many blushes. So I'm like, you know, I can get two for the price of one. I'm just going to get two. And I got two like crowd favorites from what I gather. And one of them is Exposed. People love this. And, you know, I do like it. Um, I don't, I feel like it's hard to swatch. Like it doesn't even show up swatched really, but I do really like it on the cheeks. It's kind of weird. I know. And then uh, my friend Kristen loves doll face, so I took her advice and I got it, and oh my goodness, I'm wearing it right now. Beautiful. And it's just like a, a bright pink. Oh, it's so pretty. I think that anyone could wear this. I think it would look good on so many people. The last thing I have is from Hope Look. I have been waiting, like biding my time for the balm to go back on Hope Look. And finally, finally, finally it did. I did get the Nude Tude Palette. So excited. And you all, I love this thing. Oh my goodness. I've been using it like no other. And it is just beautiful colors. Um, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I'm really going to say and really mean it that um, these are the easiest to blend shadows that I've ever used. 
ever. Like, you breathe on them and they blend. It's amazing. And while I was at it, I also got Mary Luminizer Highlighter. This is a very shimmery, <laughs> very reflective highlighter. So you really have to be careful with that. It's really pigmented too. Okay, and I also got a lipstick and it's called My, <laughs> M-A-I, My Bills Be Paid. How cute is that? And it's like a nude color. It just looks like a really pretty nude. That's all I have for you. Um, I have a lot of exciting videos coming up, so please subscribe if you haven't yet, and stay tuned for those, and thank you for watching. I hope you're doing great, and I'll see you next time. Bye.